that choices for fetuses that have sacrococcygeal teratoma or a tumor on the bottom, on the baby's bottom, are many nowadays. For some fetuses, we don't need to do anything until the baby is born, and then we remove this growth after birth. For some fetuses, where the tumor is so big or the blood supply is so great, it's important to actually remove the tumor before birth so that it doesn't cause fetal demise. There are new techniques being uh, tested all the time, including here, that are looking at more minimally invasive ways to stop the blood supply to that tumor. Sometimes we can just use a simple probe to coagulate the blood supply to the tumor, and that's enough to save the life of the fetus. But occasionally, we do need to do an operation before birth to remove the tumor from the baby. So each treatment is individualized for each individual fetus. When there is an indication for you to undergo fetal surgery because your baby with a sacrococcygeal teratoma is getting into trouble as exhibited by high drops, then what we do is we counsel you on the possibility of fetal surgery as one of your options. And if you want to carry on this pregnancy, then what we do to remove the tumor is we do essentially what's equivalent to a C-section, bring the fetus part way out, remove the sacrococcygeal teratoma, put the fetus back in, and sew everything closed, and then you continue with your pregnancy until it's time to deliver. After your baby's been born and after surgery has been performed on your baby for sacrococcygeal teratoma, we will continue with close follow-up with you and your referring doctors and your local pediatricians. Most babies with sacrococcygeal teratoma will be cured with one surgery. However, many of these babies will be, need to be closely followed up for the possibility of a recurrent tumor, especially those in which the sacrococcygeal teratoma has been shown by pathologists to have a malignant potential or, in some instances, malignancy within the tumor itself.